Hi, I'm Teacher Edgar. We're going to be working on Intentional Teaching Card M2, Counting and Comparing. The objectives on this card are uses number concepts and operations, and the other one is compares and measures. So we're going to be digging deep into mathematics today, and we're going to do it in the form of a game to play together with our child. What, I, what you're going to need is a piece of paper and a marker and a chart to track some data. And then you're also going to be just getting a collection of different types of materials from around your home. You don't need to go out and buy anything. I just put everything in a Frisbee because it's a pretty neat container to hold everything, like a dish. And I'm going to ask my son to join me. Emmett, come on over. Hi. Hi. Now, Emmett, we have a big mix of stuff. I want to separate them into different types of piles. Do you think you can help me do that? Mm -hmm. All right, I'd like you to make a pile. Let's see, what do we call this? Sock. Sock. So we're working on language development too. There we go. And what is this? Uh, a car. A car? Yeah. I agree, that's a good thing to call that. Car. And you know what I'm forgetting? We should make a list of things that we're, we're sorting here. We have socks and cars. And let's see, are there any other types of toys in here that you can see? Any? Yeah, what do you see? Legos. Oh, Legos, okay. So there's some building bricks or Legos, we'll put that there. I'll put that right here. You want to call them Legos? We'll do that. So just made a really easy chart. Now, Emmett, I need you to sort them or put them into different piles. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Okay, show me. Please do that. Now, of course, if this is the first time your child's done this, they may need some help or some additional support, and you can do this with hand over hand support or just some verbal guidance, whatever you think your child needs. That's it, you're doing it. So this is the sorting or comparing part of the, the exercise. Oh, you're really good at this. Thank you. Now let's do some counting, and you're going to see me doing some manual signing too. Manual signing is great because it shows your child another way to express themselves other than verbally. Maybe your child's not ready to verbally express themselves. So you can look online. There's several different websites that show you how to do manual signing. I happen to choose the free website SigningSavvy.com, but you choose the one that you think works best if you would like to do manual signing. Emmett. I see you're holding the bricks. Why don't we start counting the bricks first? Ready? Yes. All right, count them out for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay, let's put that down here. Nine. Oh, I'm going to put some marks too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you could do it with numbers, you can do it with hash marks, whatever works best. Go ahead and let's try that again with uh, cars now, Emmett. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many cars were there? Four. Four. Can you show me with your fingers? Four? Oh, thank you. Four. So I'm going to write the number four and four hash marks. What pile is this? Socks. Socks. All right, let's count socks. One. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful. I'm going to write a six here and make some hash marks. There we go. Now we're going to do some more comparing. We're going to talk about if things are, if there are more than or less than other objects. And let's take a look at your, you. I see you playing with the bricks. So let's look at those bricks. We'll push this aside. Now this might be tricky. Which one has more than the other? Are there more blocks or more socks? And we can look at this too if you need to. Legos. I think there are more Legos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and I think I remember the th how many there were. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. You were right. Thank you, Anna. Would you like to play some more with them? Okay. There's a lot going on with this activity. And you do it at the level that you find is best for your child. Whether it's just sorting, which is a big skill all in itself, or if you want to make it a, count, a game about counting, you can do that too. You can just talk, make piles of stuff and try to just visually ascertain whether there's more than or less than in comparing the piles. So there's a lot to do here. If you feel your child's ready, you can do it all at once like we did right here. You can practice developing numeric awareness with charts and use numbers, or you can use the little hash marks. Again, what you think is best. You can also use manual signing or be verbally expressive or both. You can expose them to both ways of communicating. There's a lot to do here, and there's a lot of different ways to play it. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy anything. Just use what you have at home. It can be spoons, it can be cars, it can be whatever you have. So just have fun, reward every little attempt and every little success. Every part of that counts. Thanks for your time. See you soon.